Hey YouTube, here's Heiko, today recording from my backyard. Uh, it's planting season in our vegetable garden and uh, we need to keep our dogs out of our vegetable garden or they destroy everything in here. And uh, I'm putting up some chicken wire, started yesterday and then um, whacked myself on my index finger while I was trying to uh, hammer in some poultry net staples. Uh, I don't know if you've ever used those. Um, they look like a large staple coming out of your office stapler. Just thicker and stronger right there. And they are really a pain in the neck to hammer in, especially if you have large fingers like I have. There's always the chance that there's a little piece of your flesh in between the staple and the hammer, and that's really painful. And uh, then I got thinking, what solution can I come up with to make this a little easier? Let me show you. So here's the whole situation. This is a, a fence it's right on the side of our house. We have a small vegetable garden freshly tilled with drip system all set up. Uh, some ugly strawberries here and some raspberry bushes that take over the entire vegetable garden. And uh, here's a fence that I built just uh, to keep uh, my dogs are barking in the background so bear with noise uh, we also have a road going past our backyard here so I built this fence just to keep the dogs out but my dogs are still able to go through those uh, those those fence uh, fence bars so I had to put up some uh, chicken wire we used to use this plastic stuff, but that always falls off. I used a normal staple gun to staple it against the fence. Just doesn't last, like one season and then it falls off. And so this year I decided to buy proper chicken wire and the proper staples for it. Started putting it on yesterday and uh, yeah, whacked myself on the index finger. And I came up with a perfect solution to make this uh, hammering those staples in. A little easier. The staples come in a big old large box right here and they you know they are not really the most uh, quality fastener. Um, always one side is longer than the other I guess that might be intentional and then it, it's just really awkward to get them started and my fingers are just the right size when I hold those suckers um, you know there is not much space to really hit it with a hammer um, but let me show show you my solution bear with some background noise there's some uh, construction going on on the other side of the road and someone is driving his bobcat past our backyard so initially I would just you know my favorite German hammer and grab a staple and like I already mentioned they are pretty short so once you put it on here you know there's only a little bit sticking out your finger is really close and then due to the fact first of all that they are spread out a little bit they're not parallel and the, the two parts of the staple are not exactly equal length it is pretty difficult to to get them started so now I take my hammer, first straighten them out so they are more or less parallel and then I'm using my uh, favorite Nipex adjustable wrench here. This is not a pair of pliers, this is actually an adjustable wrench. The jaws are always parallel so if I put the staple in between the jaws, both sides of the staple are held equal with equal force. And then I find my spot where I want to put that into the wood, line it up. And since my finger is not anywhere near, I can really give it a good, a good whack and get them started right away. And once they're started, then you can just finish them up. And my finger was not anywhere near. So I just clipped the edge of my finger, immediately got a huge blister there, um, started bleeding and was really unpleasant. But with those puppies, it is just a pleasure to put those staples in. Uh, you can probably do that with a normal pair of pliers. The problem is that on a normal pair of pliers, the jaws are never parallel. 
So you most likely only hold on to one part of the staple and not both sides. But with this one here, it is really so easy and it's less painful too. So that's my little tech tip for you today. So if you like my little tech tip for the poultry net staples, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Thank you.